Good morning, everyone. Connecting with the key number 23. Welcome to our last week before spring break. This week, we're celebrating books for bikes. I picked this story, Duck on a Bike by David Shannon, and we have our bikes ready to show you. So let's read the story, and then we'll talk about the books for bikes in just a moment. I think this is Division 16. Do I have that right? Can you say hello, everybody, to the camera? Hello. hello. Excellent. Let's begin. Duck on a bike. For Emma. Quack. Duck on a bike. One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Do you remember riding your bike for the first time? Were you pretty wobbly? You were fine? Hello, Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Merp, said Cow. But what she thought was a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. Bah, said Sheep. But what she thought was he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now. He rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, said Duck. Woof, said Dog. But what he thought was, this, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode toward Chicken. Do you have bells on your bikes? Yeah. 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 I have my own. Yeah. Cluck, cluck, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, goat, said duck. Mah, said goat. But what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. <laughs> I think goats eat just about everything. Duck stood on the seat and rode past pig and pigs. Hello, pigs, said duck. Oink, said pig and pig. But what they thought was, duck is such a show off. Then duck rode no hands past mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. I'm getting worried because I don't see Duck with a helmet on. No hands? No helmet? Mm -hmm. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. I think I see an idea about to happen. Somebody <laughs> has a plan. Yeah, <laughs> Are you predicting? Yeah, we're going to ride the bike. The one that I can't imagine is horse. Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, Doc. Good job. <laughs> oh, that's look at they've got horse holding on to the 10 speed handlebar. I don't know. Then they put the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. Did you see the mouse? Now I want to go back and see where the no, mouse was. Oh, right there. <laughs> I didn't think that mouse could reach the pedals. <laughs> the end. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's going to be a trouble. I can sense some trouble about to happen now. Maybe the next book is going to be Duck 
on a tractor. That would be good one. We'll have to look that up. Duck on an airplane? Maybe. No. Well, I want to remind you, boys and girls, to make sure you keep reading. And for every 15 minutes of reading, or for every book that you read, you can get a ticket. And the ticket can be put in this beautiful box. I want a ticket. When, had, when do we get tickets? You can get the tickets from Mr. Brookmore, or from Ms. Brini, or from Ms. Gardner. But how do we get it from all the teachers? Well, I'll get them set up with it. And so that way, your name could be in here lots and lots of times. And we're going to draw for one bike and for the other bike and brand new helmets as well. And June the 6th, you have a wonder about it being your size. Say you already have a bike that fits you. You might want to get a bike that's a little too big. And what we have is we've kept the receipts from this generous donation and we'll be able to trade in a bike that fits you perfectly. Good idea. Well, I'm never going to get it. I'm never oh, going to try it. Oh, you might this time. I you won't have get have a chance unless you either. get your name in the box. I this is exciting. Two I children at Quinnish are going to have a brand new bike for summer. That's so, over summer. Uh, there are 428 children oh, in this school. Oh, there's over 428 children. So good luck, everyone. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.